Oh man, that's fire as hell. That's super fire. What's up everyone, MCI ADP Studios. Today we're gonna to cook up a beat from scratch using a plugin called Scalar 2. So Scalar has been a plugin that's been around for a while. I've used it on a handful of beats. They just did a new update to it, so we're gonna take it for a spin, see what it can do. Anybody that is a singer or songwriter or uses a DAW, this particular plugin can also teach you how to play chords on the piano and scales and gives you a lot of good things to start with and just to be creative. So uh, thanks for checking it out, much love and peace so we got scalar 2 open right here what's cool about this plugin here is there's a bunch of videos on it right now too everybody's made a video about it so i'm not really jumping on the bandwagon i'm just uh documenting my journey of using it for the first time as scalar 2. you can go up here you can go to different scales so you got your majors all these different scales and then it shows you where right here in your keys where you can play these just like that. So yeah, it just follows the scale right here. So that's kind of cool. It shows you what each one of these scales are. And then it gives you some chords in that scale. So. So I don't really like that one. Let's just go with a straight C, C minor. So you got these chords in the C minor scale. And then they have different song styles here, kind of cool. So if you want to go with like a neo soul, which a lot of R&B type style, so. And then with this, you can just drag these chords down like this. That's what you like. It's cool because you can mess with the octaves. There's literally so many things you can do with this. For in-depth tutorial, definitely check YouTube. I'm not going to go into an in-depth tutorial with it because I'm just kind of learning it myself, but. I'm going to find something I like, and then we're going to cook up something right quick. So... Pretty sweet though, all the different stuff you can do, arpeggio, strummings, lead, scale, lock. Anyway, do we like this? All right, so far I kind of like what's going on there. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit, especially when you're using a tool like this. So you can kind of copy the chords over and see what you got working with. I kind of like these chords. Kind of like the little bounce it's giving me. Um, I'm definitely gonna Alt R. Let's give it a look. Okay, I'm liking that. Let's get a sound going here, something that we can whip up. Um, let's go to uh, Tron's and Optical. I want to try something here.
I always forget when I'm doing these videos, I gotta move everything over here so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna throw some RC on it. Oh man, that's fire. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Boom. <laughs> man, that's just fire. Who's <laughs> gotta be? <laughs> oh man, that's gotta be. Okay, I'm feeling that, but I might do something different here with this too. So this would kind of be the baseline, these notes right here. So we'll kind of see how they sound and we'll see what 808 sounds good. Right now I'm just using this basic uh, kit so I can just get ideas down and then I'll change the drums and stuff after that to give it a different like um, aspect. All right, here we go, putting some 808s in to see. Just trying to find my key to the bass drum real quick. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that's fire as hell. That's super fire. Bam, bam. We'll do something like that. Oh yeah, fire. That's fire. Copy these kicks over real quick. Boom. Oh, we're gonna make them hit too. We'll change it up a little bit on the second part. So Okay, cool. Now we're gonna, uh, let's bust into a couple little hats real quick. We'll make this real fast. We'll just do, we'll go da 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 bop bop. And then that's all we really need. And then we'll change it up a little bit on the second hat. But you don't wanna get too crazy with your hats. Like, sometimes it'd be too much. And I even be doing that sometimes too. Yeah, that's, that's dope. And then you just pan them, watch. Pan, boom, boom, boom. And these bad guys this way. And yeah. And then 
with a hat, it's kind of rule of thumb. Select, add a little velocity to them. Just a little bit to kind of give it a little swag. All right, and then we basically can do something like this. All right, cool. Then we'll just throw some perks in there, and then I'll probably just speed mix this beast. And this is yeah, that's how you cook a beat with Scalar right there. All right, and I'm gonna train some drum sounds out, and then that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this beat for you real quick. Let's skip the mixing process on this video. All right, so here's that beat. I arranged it real quick. I added some EQ and did a little bit of leveling. It's probably not going to be the final mix, but this is my beat using Scalar 2. It's probably one of the best beats that I've made on camera yet, so um, I really like this beat. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. It really brings a lot of attention to Exodor Productions, the EDP, and what I'm doing with these beats, and I appreciate you guys checking it out. So much love to you guys, and here's that beat right here.